<laughs> oh, I'll show you oh, our some cuts. 36 XP funds after customers were best fed. I knocked on my um, copy because it it was a steelbook version. I'm not selling a steelbook version because it's more of the only steelbooks I have, and it's actually pretty cool. But people are actually refunding for 36. <laughs> the story of this game is just so hilarious. Ever since the game came out, lots of lots and lots of bad things came out about Bethesda, and people now do not trust Bethesda anymore, okay? People do not trust this company anymore, they are, and basically, the government basically just said, Bethesda, you have to all refunds for 436 on why. Australian competition consumer commission, government that goes after the customer's rights in the country, announced today that some refunds will be had off for purchases of 436 after ruling that Bethesda was quantifying the Australian consumer law. The ruling tactic against Professor company Zarna, Sending Max, came after folks buying 436 weren't actually able to play the game. Oh yeah, that's the problem that, you know, has been since the first when the game launched. Problems with servers, lagging, graphic and visual problems, and asked for a refund of the course, Professor said, Okay, we're gonna be big z jerks and say no, because it's of course, it's reasonable, you know. Of course, it's reasonable, you know, very reasonable, you know. Uh, it's a very, un it's very reasonable, you know. An Australian consumer law they were entitled for a refund something Santa Max now admits, and also anyone who asks for one between this once and June 1, 2019, can now receive it. Of course, anyone asking for said refund will no longer be entitled to access or play the game. Um, ACCC. Commissioner Sell Court play says the decision, but Google consumer buys a product, it comes with automatic consumer guarantees, and retailers must insert a refunds and return policies. Don't miss it to be what the Australian consumer law provides. Also about the game, Ball 36, the game was so bad, okay? The game they even come in, the game, the box that came in with it was broken, okay? The game box was broken, and I had to get, the, you know, we had to get the Steelbook version, because we knew the Steelbook version wouldn't break. <laughs> That's just a funny thing. Um, when a consumer is supposed to a product that for most amounts to a major failure, the Australian consumer law provides them with the right to ask for the choice the year repair or place for a refund. And... <laughs> yes, it's that broken. 436 is that broken, okay? You must have not played the game at all. You must have not bought the game. You must have bought 436, the 404, and said, Oh, this is a, you know, 404 is not broken, yes. I, you know, I played 404, you know. You see, yeah, this 436 is not broken, because it's reasonable, of course. I, I expect, and of course, it's, it is broken, okay. I, I know, and the game is just, um... Was it a four four out game? So it's practically over promised and under delivered. Yet there's really nothing in the game. Um, people waiting at it. <laughs> it's by a huge disappointment and being an experiment for the player involved. It's been some wrong crystallizes failure. Okay, here's the thing: if four twenty six was kind of like an expansion pack, like a expansion to you know four four, I think people wouldn't really care. Okay. People won't be angry that they have to buy sixty dollars for a whole new game. If it was like a twenty dollar expansion pack, and it does extended four or four or something, or extended a P the four or four, okay, and it was like a online version of four or four, or they said like four or four multiplayer mode, I think, or online mode like GTA Online does, okay, GTA and Red Dead Redemption do. I think people would be fine with this, but you know, it's sixty dollars for a whole new game, okay? You're paying sixty dollars for a whole new game. Cause I get, um, it's a whole new map and stuff, and for RT6 you have to make the map, so of course you have to pay for the whole new map, the enemies and all that stuff, you have to pay for the effort they put into the map, but this, uh, and there's a lot of glitches and bugs in this game as well, so basically, for RT6, the fans have struck, Australia has struck back against this game, also, also, you know, um, Wizard was, you know, had Congress going after them, and that was pretty funny. So these big companies are losing the actual war for gaming, okay? And greedy companies are losing all over the place. Goodbye.